So in this all-in-one video, you will learn how to build a Facebook page chatbot with Zapier. And actually the material you will see in seconds is a part of my Zapier masterclass. So if you want to learn Zapier from start to finish, um, I will put the link in the description of this video to join our community. And here we've got the Zapier course and other actually 12 courses right there. Uh, however, with all that being said, um, let's get into the material. Automations are pretty everywhere right now. Maybe you wanted to buy some clothes online. And here you know this chatbot pops up and asks you about your specific needs. Maybe you were browsing the internet, reading an article, and here again, the chatbots are everywhere asking you the questions. So in this video, we'll create our automation in Zapier that will be actually about creating our Facebook Messenger chatbot that will speak with our customers. So constantly talk with them, solve their problems, and answer to any question. Nevertheless, most importantly in this lesson, I will show you step by step how to set up your own very chatbot for any purpose with the help of ChatGPT. So there even will be able to upload our knowledge, so our external files. For example, let's say you've got your information about your company or even any other business, and here you can upload the knowledge about it, and actually our chatbot whenever it will answer to any customer's question, will base on this knowledge, which is very amazing. And actually stay to the end of this video because it is very important. And overall, when it comes to the entire automation, it is very simple because we have only three different steps. And here, firstly, we trigger the automation whenever we receive our message in the Facebook page. So keep in mind that we need to have for this purpose the Facebook page. Nevertheless, it is very simple to set up and you can do this within a minute. After doing that, um, we go over to the ChatGBT and we open the conversation with Assistant. So in this step, we'll be setting up our own very chatbot for this purpose. Um, so we'll provide the instructions. I have prepared for you the file with them, so it will be very easy to do and overall you will see how it will look like. And then at the end, after we receive our message, we send it to our assistant, our assistant creates for us the response, we send the message back um, to the specific customer from our page account. So actually this is very simple, we've got only three different steps, and actually the main purpose of this video will be to set up our very own chatbot. So with that being said, let's get into it. Also remember, in the resources, you've got your file, so here this automation and the exercise form. And also, you've got the template for this exact automation. So we can open this link, click on try this up, and afterwards you will have created this one exact outline for this automation. So here remember that you can do this stuff in each use case that we'll cover in this course, whether it's for the basic use cases or even advanced. So I will be providing for you these links and um, so these templates for each automation we do. With that being said, we can start doing our zap. So first we will pick the trigger, which will be Messenger. So we'll be using our Facebook Messenger in order to do this stuff. And here we've got two different options. So Facebook Messenger and Facebook Messenger Legacy. And legacy means that this is the older version of the Facebook Messenger, like the step within Zapier. And here we can choose either this or this. So actually for me, Facebook Messenger legacy works better because somehow with the Facebook Messenger, it doesn't work as I want. I've got some errors. So, you know, you can pick um, whether this option or this. For this case, I will go over with the Facebook Messenger legacy. And here, go overhead. Also, right there, you can notice we've got um, actually our notification that a new version of this application is available. Nevertheless, I would like to use this one step to proceed. I can go ahead, pick the trigger event, which will be the new message sent to page. I can pick an account, click on the continue, and select my page, which will be, for this case, DFA Course Academy. I can click again on the continue, and here there is a time where we need to actually send our message from other account to our Facebook page. So I simply sent over to me this following sentence, 
Hello, is there any support available after purchasing a course? And now I can go ahead to the Zapier and check if I've got my record. I can click on test the trigger and there, let's see, hello, is there any support available? That's perfect. I can click on the continue and now pick the step, which will be chat GPT, because we would like to create our um, basically response for the message. So we'll pick um, not the conversation, but conversation with assistant, because we will be building our assistant. So in that case, we don't want to just speak with the typical chat GPT, but with our custom GPT, which will be specialized in the specific field. So I can pick an account, click on the continue, and right there, I can go over ahead and build my chatbot. For this case, we can go over to the platform, which is platform.openai.com, and here we'll have our actually the page for the API reference. So right there, we can go over ahead to the right top corner and click on the dashboard. After that, um, we should see this one icon, so assistants, and there we can create the new assistant. So we can do this stuff by this way, so let's start. We can go over and set the name, which is Facebook Messenger Chatbot. Um, kind of something like this. And there we've got very important system instructions. So I prepared for you the template that you can download from the resources of this material. And inside we've got different components. So for example, first we start with the purpose, next capabilities, interaction style, you should scenarios. And for this case, it's pretty much looking like this. So for example, this custom GBT is designed to act as an expert Facebook Messenger chatbot, managing customer inquiries, resolving problems, and delivering information. In the capabilities, I've got something like troubleshooting common customers' issues, I'm guiding users through step-by-step -step processes, and so on and so on. So overall, you can go over and download it from the resources of this material and even use it for your own chatbot or customize it for any purpose you want. So overall, I've got my instructions that I can copy right here. And now the chatbot will base on these instructions and will behave exactly um, by this way. So as we said to the chatbot. Next, we can choose the model, which will be for that case GBT40, which is for now the best for this purpose. And now we've got two very important options. So firstly, we can enable the file search and what it will do. We can overall upload the files with our knowledge that we would like chatbot to base on and actually just be trained on. So overall, we can provide it anything we want. For instance, information about our company. For example, for this case, I will provide the file with the frequently asked questions. Um, so I can simply drop it here, click on attach, and right there, from now, my chatbot is trained on this data. Also, we can enable the code interpreter, so our chatbot will be able to run the code um, within it. It is helpful, and um, for this case, not really. Nevertheless, you know, it's always better to have it enabled than not. And I must say, this is pretty everything. So we discovered and set up the most important options right there. And definitely for this case, we can go over back and set up our entire automation inside of the Zapier. So first, we've got a message. We are just providing the message from our Facebook Messenger. So it will be the message text. We choose an assistant. So exactly this assistant that we created, the assistant name. So we can even decide for this case, I can go over ahead and provide customer service. Then we have assistant instructions. So any additional instructions that we would like to provide for the chatbot, for this case, I'm fine with this um, that I have inside of my assistant. I can pick the model, which will be ChatGBT40. After that, we can choose the conversation ID, which is very important. Because for this case, we would like to provide this ID, um, so sender PSID from the messenger, and what it will exactly do. So let's say some customer type um, the message to our page. And this exact customer will have its unique um, ID 
um, like which is associated with the account. So we actually send this information to our ChatGPT, and afterwards it knows that hey, um, with this PSID, so ID, this is this exact person. And overall, when we'll have, for example, longer conversations, because yeah, obviously, like our customers would like, for example, to type multiple messages than one, the chatbot will know that this is this exact person because it will have um, this person exact ID. So overall, in a nutshell, we use the conversation ID to manage the longer conversations. So our chatbot will actually remember the person um, that in the past the chatbot were speaking to. So it is amazing because um, it will remember the entire context of the conversation. What are the customer needs and so on and so on. So again, this is very, very important. And with all that being said, we've got all necessary options set up. So we can go over here, click on the continue and test the step. So our message was sent. We can go ahead and check the response. So full response, yes, ongoing one-on-one -on -one support is provided for any questions or issues after purchasing a course. Yeah. So now even let me show you something very, very important. So this is my exact file that I provided to the chatbot. And here I've got some questions and answers. And right there, just notice. I've got this question, so is there any support available? And here I can see, yes, it provides ongoing one-on-one -on -one support for any issues or questions. So actually, it's just based on this file and created for us the response for our case, which is very important. And at the end, we need to go over ahead and create the last step to send the message to our customer back. So here, send message from page, continue the page, we choose the previous one, recipient ID. So here we choose the sender PSID again, and the text, so we choose the full response from our chatbot. We can click on the continue, we can test the step. So for this case, I can notice I've got my response. So our chatbot is working perfectly. And now even let's publish it. So publish the zap and test it out on real examples. Therefore, let's click on publish. And right now I'm ready to speak with that. So for instance, what products do you offer? Let's check it. So the first one message. And after a several seconds, we've got our message. So we offer a course titled Leonardo AI Pro and other other data. Next, what we can type. For example, what is the price of this course? So after again some time, we've got the answer. The course is priced at $39 and it includes lifetime access, which is pretty amazing. We've got very concise, very detailed answers. Even let's ask about who is the founder um, of DFA Course Academy. So again, we've got our answer. And actually, our customers can speak with the chatbot anytime they want. So that's it. And actually, this is very amazing. So I really love it because this automation only had three steps to do. And by this way, we can create very powerful chatbots for any needs.